Hi guys, I'm in South Kensington today and I have a bad news. This famous pink tree is gone now. Aww. You say take me on a treasure hunt. When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night So today we are at Franklin Hotel It's a small luxury hotel in South Kensington And we try in the afternoon tea Alice at the Franklin So as you guessed it is inspired by Alice in Wonderland And Victoria and Albert Curious and Curious exhibition what is great about this tea is that uh, they have this package deal so if you want just afternoon tea it costs you 45 pounds if you want to go to the exhibition as well you just pay 55 pounds and it saves you 10 pounds on the ticket as part of the experience Alice at Franklin we got tickets to visit Alice Curious and Curious exhibition as well it was so much fun for kids especially for Rosie as she's so into Alice right now we even decided to dress her up in Alice's costume and almost everyone complimented her look that day Why are you so sad? Didn't you didn't get the toy. Oh, story of my life.
last time you saw me I was at South Kensington today I'm in a completely different part of London um, it is last week of summer holidays for kids and we visited all the museums and today we decided to visit the farm so today we are in southwest London at Dean City Farm and I have so many good memories about this place because when I moved to London around 10 years ago I used to live nearby and I remember coming here seeing people with their kids coming and I remember thinking how nice would it be to come here one day with my own kids so here we are visiting this farm all together it was raining all week so it is surprisingly sunny today Next to the Dean City Farm you'll see this old sign, kind of map, you can't really see what it's all about, so I'm going to show you these buildings. You'd never expect to see something like this on the boundary of Mitcham, South Wimbledon and Modern, but here you are. There's this row of old cottages along the river. This is just a reminder that London is full of history and you can see it literally on every corner. If you continue to go on the street, you'll see this building. It used to be the coachman house for this Wondell Villa, Georgian mansion building 1788. And after visiting Dean City Farm, we decided to pop into this newly opened Merton Priory Chapter House. It was destroyed by Henry VIII in 1538 and this is how it would look like versus how it looks nowadays. And whenever we are at Merton Abbey Mills, we always come to this place for coffee. This is arguably the best coffee shop in the area. Later that week, I was on my way to Museum of the Moon exhibition when I realized that somehow autumn came to London and we didn't really notice it. Museum of the Moon was part of Kensington and Chelsea Festival. It is art installation by Luke Jerome and this year replica of the moon was placed inside the church. The event was free so you can imagine how many people visited and how crowded it was. This is the same artist who created Gaia exhibition. I have a video about it on my channel, so you can watch it if you missed it. Other than that, we had a really good time in August. We cooked a lot at home, visited lots of different parks and although we didn't have a proper holiday, I choose to concentrate on good moments. I choose to be like bees, to see flowers where flies could only see shit. <laughs> I hope you liked this video, I wish you all the best and I'll see you soon. Bye!